Well, hey guys, welcome back. Hey, uh, that last video, we were talking about that boiler back there, and we just opened up that uh, little hit and miss engine. Well, we do have it mounted to a board right now, it's just a temporary board, and uh, we can kind of check it out now. It's got amazing compression. Um, let's look at these here. They've got, it uh, looks like bronze bushings in here for, well, our mains. We do have an oiler for our cylinder, oilers for our mains. Uh, no provisions for oiling our big end of our connecting rod. And it doesn't look like there's a hole in the top of our piston for oiling the small end. But now we can address all that. That's not a big deal. Let's get a fuel tank mounted to this. This is the fuel tank that it comes with. It's a really substantial little fuel tank. Nicely made. But where the hell are you going to mount this thing? Um, Alright. Well, went through some other things and we've got this one. Let's mount this one instead. We'll pull off this head bolt and mount it right here. I think that'll look better and, well, I guess it's just my preference. So, yeah, let me get this head bolt out. Let's get it mounted. All right, well, we do have our fuel tank mounted. To me, that looks a whole lot better than, well this big monstrous thing sitting somewhere and we do have a little bit of a gravity flow that may come back to bite us in the butt but i guess we'll figure that out uh, we still have to mount our ignition and uh, i'm not sure where we're going to hide this but that's a fairly substantial sized little box it may fit underneath if we unbolt it from this board. We may be able to tuck it underneath here. But we still need to figure out a spot where we're going to put our ignition source. Which plugs in here and well, it looks like it's 4.5 volts because it takes three AA batteries. But uh, I'm going to try to keep this as compact as possible. I guess I can let you guys in on this. That... Uh, um, yeah, I want to build a cart so this looks like a full-size engine, but sitting on, you know, a cart with steel wheels with a movable truck in the front, but we got to get this thing running first and see what other things we need to do to it. It seems to be a very nicely made model. I do like how the ignition system is set up. It leads itself to be very easily modified. Um, our lockout right here yeah it's a it's a neat little engine guys um, I guess we'll uh, we'll continue on we do have our well that fuel tank there I like that better than you know one mounted off behind it beside it or in front of it and uh, we'll figure out where we're going to hide this next so let's get to it Okay, well we have our ignition system wired in, uh, real simple, plug and play, and we pulled a head bolt to run our, well, our ignition ground to it. Uh, we have our batteries loaded into our battery holder. We'll plug this in, and uh, we'll hold this up here to ground, and we're going to check for spark. Wow. We've got a good hot spark, guys. Let's get our boot put on here. And uh, we'll go ahead and hook it up to our plug. And then we're going to put our fuel in there. And uh, for fuel, we're going to use the same thing. Well, you, you guys have been watching this. You'll know what we're going to use. Uh, it's this uh, VP race fuel. Uh, 
40 to 1. 94 octane. And as you can see, it's uh, ethanol free. So that's what we're going to put in our fuel tank. And we're going to oil this all up. We're not going to put water in our hopper. But, you know, before we, you know, keep going on this, if you guys have an outbuilding or, you know, a non heated garage, remember water freezes. These little engines, you know, it's going to do the same thing as it would if you had water in a full size engine. Things freeze, they expand, you know, things break. So, if you guys are watching this and you're like, oh no, it is going to get cold tonight, go outside and make sure that, you know, if you have water in there, get it out, dump it. So, all right, let me get some fuel in here. All right, well, we got our syringe filled up with fuel. Put it in here. Looks like our tank's full. You guys can't see it, but I can see it bubbling over. So, all right. Well, our fuel tank is full. We'll uh, put our cap back on. We're going to go through and oil this. And for oil, we're just using, you know, SAE 30. Uh, we have not addressed the small end of our rod yet, but. And make sure it's going to run first right guys so we'll put some on our big end we'll put a little bit down there oil all this up oil our valve stems and uh we'll see what we end up with so i'll put a little bit down here on our gears and a little bit on our cam lobe Okay, well, let's plug this in, see what we end up with. We do have fuel all the way down to our carb. Like I said before, mounting that fuel tank there may come back to bite us in the butt, but I guess we're going to find out together. Acted like it fired there. does run it hits and misses but obviously it's not even I don't think we're going to be able to tune this out but we can give it a try
Well, it is possible to run at a lower speed, but not the way that it's set up. It does run um, a little bit loud, kind of noisy. We'll see if it'll start back up. that lockout back in there well guys it does run um, I mean it's it's like all these you think about it and how much time would a person have in machining all this granted they are not perfect when you get them so you are gonna have some time into you know tuning them in, addressing it, dialing it in to where you want it to be. But think of how much time you save by, you know, buying one that is ready to go. And you guys can sit there and work on it. And you turn this into your own engine. No two of these are ever the same. Um, I don't care if you buy both of them. They're not going to run the same, and you're not going to do the same with both of them. Make these your engines. They're a great start. They are, well, for the most part, economically feasible. You know, you're not going to go broke buying one. And if you don't have a mill and a lathe and whatnot, what a great way to start. So, all right. With that said, when we come back, uh, the next episode... We're going to dig into this and see what we can do about making an adjustment. I know that uh, Thomas, PC Guru, he has a video where he addresses this issue also. So we may look into that. And we're also going to check our timing and to see right when this fires. Because it seems like it's firing a little bit earlier than it needs to. And we're also going to check our valve event up here because our exhaust is open before we get to bottom dead center so we're losing some of our power stroke so all right guys hey thanks for watching continue to uh follow along on this if you'd like to uh if you haven't subscribed well there's a button i'll put it right you know, somewhere right in here and uh click that button subscribe if you guys are enjoying this and you think somebody else would, share it with them. But, yeah, we're going to make this kind of a neat little engine. So, thanks again, guys. We'll see you in a day or so. Bye.